welcome to Heart Talks. This is season four. I'm very excited to get going again. I took some time off to uh, make my gallery. And uh, now that big, huge project is over. And now I get to start in on my shows again. Um, uh, and I want to thank you right now for all of you for visiting my store. I appreciate it. And I love when you come in there and have comments about my, my photography and painting. It really just warms my heart when you can enjoy that. So thank you very much for that. Um, today, my guest is a sister from my Sasquatch family. Um, I met her two years ago. This is Sakara Tosha. And, um, and both years that I was at the conference, I missed her workshop. So I thought, well, what better way than to just get it one-on-one. -on -one? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for getting season four started with me. Oh, I'm really honored to be with you. And I just want to say your artwork is really magical. Oh, thank so, you. So important. And, you know, so many messages that I'm getting from all these star people that I can share a little bit later who they are and how it happens and that kind of thing. But it's all about creation and creativity and making art and manifesting things. And it's so important to have that personal expression, whatever, whatever the medium is. So I really want to appreciate you know, the work that you do is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. Well, one of the things, we've got a few topics to hit on today. Um, one of it is um, the uh, light activation language. And she's also gotten a lot of, of uh, messages from the Sasquatch family and uh, from our star peeps. I mean, this girl is on. So um, I, I would just like to say, you know, hit it <laughs> and you let us know what, uh, let's start with light language because I did hear you uh, at the conference do a, a, uh, a little introduction and it was so beautiful, brought me to tears. Oh. Yeah. Well, I can explain, um, you know, if you want to know more about what I do, you can go to my website that's shakaratosha.com. It's S-H-A-K-A-R-A-T-O-S-H-A dot -A -A com. So uh, if you want to see some of the artwork that I do and that kind of thing and some of the messages and services. But, um, you know, all my life I've been an artist and my mom was an artist and we had a studio and I was constantly drawing and painting symbols and books and books of, you know, script that I didn't really understand and it just kind of flowed since I was a little girl. And I didn't, I didn't really know what this meant, but it just felt right. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, my mom was an artist and she said, that's really cool. Just keep going. You know, so it wasn't shut down. It was really encouraged. And um, about three, when I was about three years old, my grandmother, sorry, my aunt came back from New Mexico and she brought a teepee. And somehow I just knew kind of what to do, like ancient shamanic memories of these things. So I would be in the teepee and holding my hand like this and see light energy going back and forth. And I was one of those people that kind of came in pretty, pretty aware of whatever skills I was kind of working with, but didn't really understand what to do with them or what they were. And, um, you know, I talked to a lot of elementals and star people. I'd see them in physical form, you know, and I'm, I'm basically really coming out of my spiritual closet now and talking about this openly because it feels like a very safe time. And a lot of people are getting awakenings with this ascension time. And this is really what it's all about, you know, remembering who you are remembering, you know, I believe that we've all been seated from different star systems. And when I talk about the star nations, they're, um, you know, basically every planetary system, every cosmology has beings in, you know, physical form, etheric form, gaseous states, and that kind of thing. But there's a consciousness. Um, some of them look like us. Some of them look like, you know, different animal shape, animals and uh, different dynamics and um, so anyway I was just really in tune with them when I was little and uh, started kind of working with nature and herbs and stuff I, I don't know it just kind of came to me and um, and then later um, basically I, I found a symbol online and I traced it back to this chief that I've been doing a lot of work with Chief Golden Light Eagle who's a Lakota chief from the Yankton Sioux Reservation and um, was so moved by this. Um, he was doing a conference in California. I said to my daughter, we're just going to go. I don't know. We got to go. We got to go. Our people are there, you know. And when we got there, it was a real confirmation <clears throat> from, you know, all the messages that he's received in ceremony about these symbols that were given to him by people from Orion. And I knew those symbols and I 
had um, been aware of them and, and I'd been drawing some of them. So there's, there's basically the way that I've learned it from him is that we are all seated with um, all these different symbols of uh, universal and spiritual laws of creation. So their principles are sort of like um, light, sound, and vibration, and innocence, truth, and family, and that kind of thing. So, so these are apparently the message he got, and I, I validated it in a sense with my guides, is these are um, kind of rules to live by that all the star people and the elementals and the ascended masters all, all kind of follow. So there was a grandmother there that is a friend of mine who started speaking grandmother tongue or light language. And at the time, I just, my ears perked up. I said, I know that language. It's really familiar. I have no idea what you said, but I really want to do it. And she said, you, you do and you will. And then about a half a year later, I said, I met with her in person. I said, I want to say something. And it just started coming out one after another after another. And it was just overwhelming and I was crying and I was moved and just this whole portal of energy just kind of opened up you know it was really magical and there was another um, wisdom keeper grandmother there uh, and I was speaking the languages and she started naming them she said Arcturian is a big one for you and Orion and Syrian and this is an ancient Lemurian language from the North Pacific and that's why I really connected with Washington state when we were up there i feel like some of my people or me in a last lifetime or something was there yes so anyway all these languages um happened and then i started studying the symbols that i had written in the script and i started differentiating them it's really interesting i could start to see patterns in them and, and i realized like i'm a kind of a code worker or code breaker in that way and code writer yeah. and then two really profound things happened i started having um flashbacks of last lifetimes where I was in Egypt and Mu, Lemuria and different different places and I was carrying these kind of vibrational codes and I would imprint them I knew how to imprint them in physical objects or pull them out you know so the, the pyramids and the temples I was doing a lot of sound healing with the Hathors and Isis priesthood priestesshoods and um, you know one after another I started getting these memories of places I've been and how I've kind of it wrapped these codes around or activated people with sound and healing and ether and yes. and um and then the, the most amazing thing about three and a half years ago these guides started coming to me more again in my dream time and i would wake up and i would physically see them energetically like patterns of them <clears throat> in form around my bed but it wasn't just one of them it's a lot of them so arcturians they come in as little people i call them the little people um, and they can shape shift and uh, take different forms. And they say when they come to this physical realm, our 3D realm, it's so dense that they have to kind of squish down into these little bodies, but they're actually huge beings of light. And all these ascended masters and guides came and then Sasquatch started coming. And um, <clears throat> I had finally remembered that I had um, experiences with them when I was a child. I used to go to a lake in Wisconsin and they would come in the forest and I would feel them and I could see them and hear them and you know all these memories that I've suppressed about my interactions with all these beings so the Sasquatch started coming and teaching me about everything you know like all these different angles of these principles of how they work with the earth how they work with the ley lines and rebalance the ley lines and um, recalibrate the earth, how they bring in this galactic metal and energy from their planetary system to, to work with the earth that way. And um, they showed me how they shape shift and go through different dimensions. So I started learning these, they started teaching me all these things. And then the Arcturians would do the same thing from their perspective. So I, I had a really interesting um, experience when I was doing a vision quest uh, for four days out in the, out in the field in the middle of nowhere <laughs> near a forest i chose to be near the trees because i really wanted to talk to the sasquatch the star yeah. people and that was my prayer um in preparation for sundance so i also dance on the quota sundance this is going to be my fourth year so this is part of part of that so the third night um actually the first night i got there i felt a hand on my body and i was pushed down to the ground and these arcturians i could see them and there were five of them around me and they were kind of going like this and they looked kind of like um like smoke ghost shapes sort of but they kind of went in and out and they were 
I saw this blue aura around each of them. And they said, um, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can pray and, and tune in with whatever, but we're going to recalibrate you. So that's really interesting. And so they started going like this, and I could see this blue etheric light coming out of their hand. And I'm, I'm lying down and I'm seeing this. And I said, you know, excuse me, it's my body. I'd like to know what you're doing, you know? And they said, oh, we've cleared it with your higher self. You know, they're, they're pretty funny, actually. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and they're very funny, like the Sasquatch. Very, very funny people. I call them all people. I know? think the universe is funny. It is very funny. And it's I was really happy to find that out because, you know, when I started, first started, I, I was afraid I was, wasn't ohm enough or serious enough or educated enough or, you know, and to find out that it's just like this. Yeah. Our relationship is just like this. And the sense of humor, if we will just open up to it, is so funny. Absolutely. In a, in a simple, funny way. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so, it really is simple. I mean, it's so it complex. Is. But these thoughts and principles and the way they exchange information is, you know, it's a lot of it. Most of it is mind speaker telepathy, which is also what they do with me. Yeah. And it's like thought forms. It's just um, energy. So this is how, you know, learning and mastering art forms has really helped me because I don't see it so literally. Right. You know, I'll see, a, I'll see a picture or when I get these downloads and these visitations, right. it's like real big um, almost like um, a multi-dimensional sacred geometry shape. And then I kind of piece it out and then I start to see holographic images and that kind of thing. And I break it down. And, nice. But what's, what's so cool about all these visitations is they, they show me these principles and then they teach me how to understand it in my own body system. You know, this is a vessel. This is a holy grail. We're all just carrying all this um, stuff. We're basically a transistor and that's what they were sort of tuning me into completely. And, um, but then they're showing me how to teach it to other people and activate other people and, and use the, the energy forms and the light language that I speak and the things that I do and these messages to, to really do a couple things, stimulate um, a remembering for people. So I'm not doing anything to anybody. I'm just helping them remember That's right. who they are, what they've done, what their skill sets are yes. you know, for many lifetimes. And then what, you know, what they're doing here, why they're here by their choice. You know, right. so um, what, what was real interesting about this vision quest was um, they um, were running this, this etheric energy in my, into my bones, actually. I was seeing it kind of psychically. It was almost like a psychic energy. And they said, um, you're going to, we're tuning you into um, all of the star nations. And it is an added benefit. You can talk to the elementals and the trees and the stones. I mean, kind of everything. And um, that was really phenomenal and they said um i had a dream about two weeks before where i went in this cave and the sasquatch was showing me on the wall um between the stones there was like this blue liquid that was flowing between the cracks of the stones and i you know this is kind of how they teach me these things and i asked what that was and they said it's the blood of the earth of mother earth it's it's the the etheric energy that keeps the earth alive and that's one of the things that we work with. We temper it and, and keep it flowing. And, you know, if you think of the Atlantean crystals, it's totally related to crystals in the rocks and crystals in your body. And, you know, it's a whole self-sustaining biosystem of everything. So the Arcturian said, do you remember when the Sasquatch took you in that cave and showed you that? And I said, you know who they are? And they're like, we all work together. You know, the elementals do their thing and everybody's got a job. And, you know, we all kind of know each other and we're all working together with the earth. So the one last thing I wanted to explain is the, the third day was a full moon. And sure enough, I started hearing from all four directions, these Sasquatch sounds, <laughs> you know, lots of sounds and talking and movement. And I could hear them. Usually when I have an experience with them in the forest, there's a, it almost feels like a tree is cracking and then it goes, whoosh. you know, it's almost like they're bending the dimensions of the tree or something. <laughs> and they came closer, <clears throat> and there were about eight of them. I, I could see their silhouettes and shadows right in the forest in front of me. And they started talking. It was funny. There was one that was going like this really guttural scream, which is very scary if you're by yourself in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, it triggers all of your fears. And I just really started freaking out. And I said, okay, you know, I chose to be here. 
this is the way I'm going to go. This is good. You know, let's just, let's just roll with it, you know? And then I said to myself, fear is in the mind. Fear is in the mind. And immediately that dissipated and I just felt incredible love. And I think all of us that went to the Sasquatch conference are tribes of people that are having these experiences. It's, it's so um, magnanimous. There's no, there's no word for it. It's just adoring and it's affectionate and it's comforting and, yes you know so so what was interesting this one started doing like a um like a silverback scream like this and then another one was going like this and then they started talking faster and faster right after each other and my first thought was oh isn't that cute it's kind of like an old married couple bantering you know <laughs> trying to figure out what they're doing there and um and then they started talking on top of each other and I realized they were blending their vibration, you know, and then a couple of the things happened. I heard a mother and a baby and, and then there was a dog out in the distance and then the Sasquatch, one of them um, kind of mimicked the dog sound. And then there was a bird sound and they mimicked the bird sound. And then they said, ho, ho, hello, hello. They started talking. Wow. So as we know, when, we, when we've talked to other people that have had all these experiences of, of the Sasquatch, Everybody experiences it differently. Some people actually physically see them. Some people will be gifted objects. Yes. Um, you know, I feel them physically. I can feel them right now. There's a kind of a guide that's behind me. Each one of us is uh, working with different guides. But what's really cool is <clears throat> our guides are talking to each other. And, you know, we're working on different planes and levels. And, you know, and so all of that stuff is really cool. But those kind of experiences have been happening to me pretty frequently these days. Wow. Okay. And you are on pretty much a, a new vision quest now as we speak. Absolutely. So yes. let's talk about how that got going. Yeah. So um, what's interesting about three months ago, um, these star people came to me and they said, take this name, Shakara Tosha, which is a new star name that I was given. And they said, when you use this name, um, certain star uh, realms or star nations will recognize you for, for whatever work you're doing here um, to bring these tribes back together and, and re-stimulate people's memory. And they said, you have to go around. Um, I got a vision of, of meeting 13 indigenous grandmothers, shamanic grandmothers all over the world. And I've already met two of them. They just, I see their face and then I, I get a message and, uh, um, I'm being shown to do a cer ceremonies with them and that kind of thing and then bring all these these tribes or, or objects or totems things together in a certain way. So they just said basically uh, the message I got was walk out your door and leave everything. Just leave everything and go on a quest and all of a sudden everything is lining up. They said you'll be provided for because uh, you know you're you're bringing these people together these co-creative artists and star kids and, you know, visionaries and wisdom keepers and um, everybody I've met, basically. Right. So what I'm doing is just hitting the road probably um, in about a half a month and I'm um, going to go a couple places in the United States and I'll do some ceremonies and gatherings and that kind of thing. Um, but I'm going to document my trip on a website and I'm also going to um, start these very casual interviews with all these people I meet because I think it's important for them to have a platform yes. who don't yes. you know to, to share their particular vision or their right. inspiring message or you know so it could be about creativity it could be about um, living your life as a creative expression yes. you know following your heart this ascension time is really key you know especially star star people people that are tuned in with this the star energy so yes. Um, yeah, so it's the road is really open right now. That's so exciting. You, I call you as I do myself a gatherer. It's oh, yeah. like we have we have we're on this mission that we have to connect with certain people and yeah. gather them into our light and and uh, that's the and by doing so, I mean, you know, um, we are one becomes more defined with each person that that I meet that you, you meet, uh, every, every new uh, skill that we get to observe that uh, someone's divine ability has, 
has kicked in and and uh, and to make such wonderful grand use of of all of our abilities is really what I think we're here for um, as messengers as as bright stars and and uh, it is so exciting that you get to travel around. I am very close with the grandmother as well. That is a very deep, anytime I go into the forest, I call upon the grandmother. Um, it was the grandmother in a vision that got me started as a healer. And so um, I feel very deeply connected uh, to the grandmother and, and, uh, and I appreciate what you're doing there uh, in that energy. So, you know, thank you a lot. What, what do you think, uh, get, give me some of the messages that you're getting from Sasquatch and from all the star beings. What, what are they saying to, to us to share with people? Sure, so in really broad terms, they talk a lot about this ascension process. It's my understanding, a lot of people think we've shifted up to the fifth dimension as a collective consciousness on this earth, but I understand that we've shifted to the 13th dimension. Wow. In many, many, many dimensions, one of the guides that I work with actually said they come from the 66th dimension, which I can't even wrap my head around. I mean, it's so out there, but um, <clears throat> the 13th dimension is, is really important because this is about the divine feminine, this energy coming back and in the world. And a lot of, a lot of messages I'm getting now are about the, our 13 chakra systems opening up so you know your pineal gland is <clears throat> changing um most of the most of the messages i'm getting are how the earth basically is a being she's a star um and a spirit that's descended into this realm to help humans who are walking on this plane or that have come into 3d to make a conscious choice to evolve and um all of the guides across the across the table um kind of say the same thing that um, <clears throat> as she's evolving right now, what's happening is there's this blue etheric energy that's coming from her crystal core. And we are changing from carbon to crystal. We're crystallizing our body system. So a lot of the messages have to do with what's happening internally. You know, we, we are becoming lighter and we're all photonic, all your DNA, everything that makes you you, all your atoms and your cells and your fluids and everything are, are photons of light. You know, everything is energy, but really understanding what that is and where it's coming from and, and how to work with it as a kind of a tool in that way. And these solar flares that are happening are also stimulating our consciousness. So the, the sun and the earth and the moon are all working together to, to really kind of raise the vibration collectively. Mm -hmm. So lots of people are having these ascension symptoms, which, which I also... Mm -hmm get big time where you get really fatigued, you know, for days I'll just be exhausted. Yes. The body's recalibrating. It's actually um, rebuilding DNA. The blueprints of your body system are changing. I call it, it hurts so good. It hurts so good, yeah. But most people have no idea what's going on. They, they, I say they didn't get the memo that this is even happening. And they're still stuck in the 3D matrix and they're going, why? They go to their doctor and they say what's going on and they can't find a cause. and and um, it's happening at so many levels. But this is, this is sort of my purpose here is before it does the big domino effect to, to kind of let people know very gracefully, okay, yeah, this is happening. You can decide to tune in with it or not. That's your free will choice. But um, we're really going somewhere where we've never gone before. So all these star systems say that these big cycles like the mayans talk about 150,000 years 26,000 years that kind of thing we have been around for millions and millions of years and most of us i i believe all of us walking on this planet in physical form um made a conscious choice to come here to shift this dynamics this is what we do you know barbara marciniak and other people call them us way showers and light workers and energy stimulators and systems busters and that kind of thing Right. So what's really cool is each one of us has um, particular skill sets. You do things that I don't do. I do things that you haven't done yet or something. So we all have um, different ways to, to be part of this, you know? So people say, well, I don't speak light language or I don't see visions or anything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't no. matter. Their role could be to smile. That's right. You know, to walk around and glow and go to the supermarket and wave at babies and, right. you know, 
and that kind of thing. And other people have, other people are builders, you know, they're building these new physical systems, communities, society. So this, this is a message I really want to share with everybody is what's happening is what you're seeing in 3D is the whole grid is falling apart which is exactly what has to happen when you bring in these new systems. So politics, religion, finance, everything. And, you know, I worked for 34, about 30 years in New York City. Uh, for some reason, had the wonderful experience of working in almost every industry. I think I was just, you know, corporate finance, communications, marketing, you know, a lot art, the art world and publishing. And so I got to see those worlds from the inside out. Um, so that I could really understand how they how they were sort of put together, yeah. but um, was able to touch a lot of people through those through those experiences. Yeah. And what's really what's really amazing is, um, you know, what 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 we come in with as our mission is is what we've done for many lifetimes. If you've been, you know, however many lifetimes you've you've been here, and um, the star people tell me that this is the first time that we can join what we're good at with what we love. So you may be a construction worker and really love building and putting plans together, but you really like to cook, for example, you know, and somehow it's so important to blend both of these because in this new way, it's all about multidimensional, multimedia, that kind of thing. When you do it, you find your own flavor, you know, so you're doing, you're doing painting and you're inspired to, put these visions out there. I'm sure you're understanding lots of stuff about yourself, which is a really beautiful process, but you're also activating codes into the artwork that when you give it to people or they see it, they get stimulated, but it's not something that you're doing to someone. It's something that they remember about themselves. That's right. You know, so, so a lot of the messages I get are, are really how this functions. I mean, I'm getting like very deep quantum mechanics stuff about, um light particles and photonics and wavelengths and stuff very really kind of out there mm -hmm. but then i go online and i you know do some research and go to the library and 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 learn scientifically so that i can explain it to people a little bit easier mm -hmm. as i understand it right but but most of it is we're just we're here there's a purpose and we're going somewhere that is really profound it's really past the garden of eden it's it's um, a world that I already see in the future um, and very near future that is so incredibly beautiful. And um, um, what they say is this is the first time in existence that we're doing it without any plans. So a lot of psychics who can see in the future just kind of can't get a picture. And they say it's because we're developing it as we're living it. Yes. So we're making our own body blueprints. You can redefine and restructure your body. Mm -hmm. You have that ability. Everyone does. And we are, by our thoughts, our words, and our deeds, we're creating things that have never been done before. So all these star guides kind of stepped back about a month ago, and I wasn't feeling them, and I wasn't getting messages. And they said, I said, what's going on? You know, because you can talk to your guides like this, which is important for people to know also. Right. And, um, and they said, well, we're giving you the reins, you know, you're, you're, you're one of us, just like we all are. And, um, we've kind of shown you some tips and tricks. And so start having fun with it, play with it. So that play factor is so, so important. You know, when you don't take things seriously, when you, when you, when you're in fear, and this is how this matrix systems works. And I'm not a big disclosure person. There are so many wonderful people that are talking about all this stuff, but I'm really focusing on, you know, the, the creative aspects of, of building these things, the structures and ideas and, and emotions and energy. Yes. And, um, you know, I, it's just a really beautiful time right now, but our thoughts and our words and our actions are actually becoming physical very quickly because in these higher dimensions the lapse between cause and effect is almost instantaneous absolutely you know so you can think a thought and it actually turns into a physical substance that can be projected on someone and stay with them you know or you can think a beautiful feeling just a, a feeling you're walking around and it's a gorgeous day and that actually emanates out to everyone because we're mm -hmm. all connected yes mm -hmm. yeah Okay, let's get back to your website. What is it that you're offering at your, at your website? 
So um, I right now have an ebook of some of the messages that I've written. Um, it's just a PDF file, um, a digital file uh, to share that. I also offer light language services. So I do readings and activations. Um, I think there's a 45 minute one and an hour session um, and I can do it over Skype. I do it in person. Um, and these are really people, like you said, when, when this energy comes through, it's almost like a, a high vibrational guide. Um, um, I'm completely present, but it, it just, this energy just transfers to the other person. It's very emotional and um, very healing, very healing. A lot of people will cry and say, I've, I've never felt this way before. Excellent. And also that is this grandmother energy. It just says, you know, everything is fine. You know, kind of feels like ama a little bit, not that I am, but the energy is like, you know, everything is great yes. and you have a purpose and you're important. Yes. And, um, but when I speak these languages, which I'd like to share, I want to say a little something in light language, cause that's really where the energy is. Uh, um, it, it somehow helps people remember these things. And people will call me after one hour session and say, you know, something totally different is happening with my life or, you know, they're stuck making decisions or in a relationship or anything. So, so it's beautiful is it, it, it sort of helps everybody with whatever they're, you know, going through or they want some understanding about, or, you know, a lot of people on their spiritual mission, but they just don't know where to go next and what to do. So that kind of thing. So I offer those sessions um also in person when i do conferences and, and that kind of thing mm -hmm. and i also do this thing that these guides have shown me how to do called an energy frequency signature so it's um it's kind of a galactic um symbol in a way um they've showed me how to read people's energy patterns like the flow of creativity in them and i draw this uh glyph um and then i write this galactic script around it which is somehow related to them I put my hand over it, I intuit it back, and then I record a digital file of a light language message, and then I send it to them and say, you activate it, listen to the audio file, and I do an interpretation, and, and also um, look at the artwork. So it's an energy activation artwork. So this is what I have available now, um, and it's just, it's been really, um, really incredible experience when I do it, because I learn everything, new things all the time, and and um, it really helps people. So whatever, whatever is happening with this energy, um, that's, that's what's going on. I'm also in the process, one of the reasons I'm traveling is to, to get out and uh, have some time to write. I'm writing um, about five books right now from all these guides and doing some CD meditations and um, a lot of different things, some videos and starting to do webinars. So I wanna make it really affordable for people to just join in the conversation and, and really have a dialogue also. It's yeah. important. Right. So, yeah, so that's what, that's some of the work I'm doing now. <laughs> just well, a little bit. I appreciate you coming to, uh, to the show today. And um, I hope I can hold on to my emotions when you start speaking because <laughs> I was in tears just yeah. about instantly whenever uh, you were at the, uh, when we were at the Sasquatch convention, so. Um, I, what I what I find is the people that are attracted to this, or that that work with me in a certain way, we've worked with each other before, and it's almost like a homecoming. Yes. Like, oh yes, I know you. Like, you know, seventeen twenty, we were in this place, <laughs> lifetime, or you know, two thousand twenty BC. I remember, you know, you're holding this thing for me, and we were doing this dance together. And yeah. so, so there's a there's a knowingness, and and this is what's really really beautiful when i've been doing these tribe tribal gatherings basically with these conferences and ceremonies we're all related to each other you know there i i was at the serpent mound and there the you know the the serpent people and the energy workers and the elementals and then the fairies and people that align with sasquatch and the star people and you know i guess i've 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 been a lot of them or i you know i, I i'm just i'm really really honored to you know pick up these messages and hopefully it's helpful to people but i really want to share something right. and like, it's just kind of okay. kind of burning in me right now it's pretty, pretty exciting so um and usually i just want to say when when these guides come i can feel them behind me they're like standing behind me sometimes people have seen like a beam of light or something but um uh Sometimes I know who they are, but there's usually a combination of them. So this, this grandmother, this ancient grandmother that comes, um, that's related actually to what they call the Devil's Tower. 
uh, we, we did a ceremony out there and we called it the grandmother tree. It was an avatar tree, you know? And, and so I did a vision quest there and got lots of messages from that grandmother. She's the ancient, ancient grandmother. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the Hathors and Sasquatch. So a lot of, and Arcturians, there are a lot of, a couple of them I'm feeling are actually physically behind me right now. So whatever comes through, um, I'm probably going to say a couple different languages. So it can kind of trigger something for, for people that way. But if, if people want to reach out to me, they can go to my website and um, sign up for a light language session. And, and it's really fun. It's really fun. It makes you feel really good. So we'll have all that information at the end of the video. So stay tuned after the video and we'll, we'll get all that information for you. Sounds great. So I'd like to share a message for everyone listening. And um, the most important thing is to stay in your heart. You know, it's, it's a conscious thing that you can do. And when you're in that place, when you move all of your intentions and everything from your heart, you get out of your head and you don't worry about things anymore. And you stay present in the now moment. And that's all we have to do. You know, it's an exercise. So present, present, and now, and now. And um, know that, that everything is, is really beautiful and everything's going to be fine. So, so I want to share this message with you. <clears throat> Shunu <laughs> Osamene more Beautiful. Thank you for joining us, everybody. From our hearts to yours. Namaste. Namaste. Ah.